Hey, they call it the Equalizer 2. They could have called it the Sequelizer. <laughs> You've heard that before. What is up, Flick fans, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys just saw, I did a reaction to Star Wars The Clone Wars. We're getting a brand new season, apparently. And you guys saw my green screen as the background. Well, guess what? We're back to the good stuff. I've got my graphics and my music and all of the beautiful things. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope you saw The Equalizer too, because that's what we're talking about today. If you guys don't know how my reviews work, I like to talk about the good, the bad, and then give you my score. Let's get into it. So if you guys follow me on Stardust, you saw my reaction to the first Equalizer, a movie that I actually really dug. I liked a lot of the elements, and I thought it was a very coherent story, something that I can't necessarily say about this film, because one of the things that I don't like about it, and I'll get into that in a minute, is that it just has too many story elements, but let's talk about the story elements that really work for me. First off, before we get into that, Den I, can, I keep backtracking, Denzel Washington is so good in this role. He is believable just his lines of dialogue and they're not even like fantastic but he makes it great and when it zooms in on his face and he's doing those facial expressions you're like Denzel is world class and he is the reason that I did not fall asleep during this movie. I love his relationship with the people around the town. In this movie without getting into spoilers he makes relationships with certain people. People that kind of depend on him for things or they just really enjoy talking to the guy. I mean who wouldn't? He's Denzel Washington but I love the way that he interacts and you can tell that he cares about certain people because he's finding things out for other people and then he's doing this thing for this kid and it's like he really does have a heart he just has that inner core that when he lets it out and when you get to those action scenes and I do think one thing I like about the sequel more than the original I think the action scenes while there weren't as many I think they're better handled than the first one they look good you can see everything going on on screen there's one in particular in a car where the camera kind of pans around them. I loved that shot. I thought it worked so well. I loved the look of it. Things that Antoine Fuqua does in this movie, he's a great director. It's just the script and the plot really did not work for me this time around. I don't think the third act was like super good, but there were elements that I like. Him and that boy, I can't remember his name, but they were both just like, when they were on screen together and you could tell how Denzel felt about him and how he felt about Denzel, I wish this film would have kind of focused on that a little bit more. With Chloe Grace Moretz's character in the first one, that was the focus of the film. Sure, you had him doing things here and there, but that's really what it relied on to get you through the story. In this movie, there's kind of a, a, a hunt and there's people trying tracking him down and it has to do with these other elements of the plot and I don't think that worked as well but I still their relationship worked very well for me let's just go ahead and get into the negative since I keep kind of inching towards that First off, the villain. I knew exactly who the villain was the second they were on screen. There is a reveal here, and it's my, might be the most obvious reveal I have seen all year. I just, I knew it was coming. I'm not going to say who it is, but as soon as you see them on screen, you're going to be like, well, that person looks fishy. And then the plot, it's... It's something we've seen a thousand times. It's generic. It goes nowhere. It's the same old thing. It's like, oh, you did this to me. Now I'm going to kill you and I'm going to do things <laughs> that you didn't think I was going to do. That's a bad impression. When we're focused on Robert and that character, I love everything about what that does, even though some of it was a little slow, but when we focus on this, just this story that did not work, the elements and the plot, they come together. I said this in my Stardust review and I'll say it again, there are great ingredients. And if they had come together to create something really delicious, I would have accepted that. But they come together and it's like, you have a little bit too much saltiness here, it's a little too sweet here. It's just not what I wanted it to be and it doesn't measure up to that delicious meal that I just had the day before and that was the first equalizer and this one unfortunately fell a little short for me on the plot and the script and where the story goes and that third act honestly it was kind of a snooze fest when the action happened it happened but there's just a lot of walking around with guns and, and, and you still walking 
Is something going to happen? I'm going to make a weird comparison. It's kind of like Lord of the Rings Return of the King. You know, I'd had so many different endings and it just didn't end. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm allowed to make fun of it. Well, it worked for that film, but for Equalizer 2, it's just like, okay, movie can end here, but it doesn't. It can end right here. No, we have to have another scene tying up this storyline and tying up this storyline. Every single storyline had to tie up in a nice little bow when other parts of the movie are super violent and families are getting murdered. I just, I don't know. It, it could have ended way sooner. It could have been an hour and 30 minutes, but it was a two-hour film. I know it seems like I'm complaining a lot. I really didn't hate this film. It's just for me, the plot in the film fell short. And it's unfortunate because Denzel gives another fantastic performance. It's just like, he does it every year. He always gets nominated. He's not going to get nominated for this, but he's really good. I'm going to give The Equalizer to a 54% being a little harsh, but I just feel like the movie could have done a lot better with the talent behind the camera and Antoine Fuqua, and you got Denzel Washington. Honestly, I've already forgotten the plot of the movie. So, so what did you guys think of The Equalizer, The Equalizer 2? Did you enjoy it? Are you a fan of Denzel Washington? Let me know in the comments down below and do that because you might be featured on my next comment spotlight. Today's comment spotlight comes to us from XZ. That's a very simple name. I enjoy that. He is saying some very nice things and he says he sees me becoming as big as Chris Tuckman. Jeremy Johns, keep up the great work. Thank you so much for the compliment, man. And while I have to disagree with you, I, they have always been kind of like the people that I watch on YouTube. I look up to Jeremy Johns. I look up to Chris Stuckman. So for somebody putting me in the same sentence, even though I, I, I don't agree with it, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm going to try to keep making good videos for you guys and hopefully you can, you can get through them and uh, get to my comment spotlights. You guys are the absolute best. I'll be back tomorrow morning with a Netflix review and I will catch you later.